Oh, hello, I'm Mr. Tumble. Tonight's bedtime story is all about a gingerbread man. Get ready to run, run as fast as you can. For this story is called The Gingerbread Man. It has been retold by Louise Martin and illustrated by Gail Yarrell. Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman lived in a cottage near the river. One morning, the little old woman decided to bake a gingerbread man ho -ho, as a special treat. The little old woman mixed together all the ingredients to make the gingerbread dough. Then she rolled the dough out flat and used the cutter to make it into the shape of a little man. Finally, she made some icing for his eyes and mouth and she gave him three currant buttons and a cherry for a nose. <laughs> the gingerbread man was ready to be baked. Half an hour later, the gingerbread man was baked and the little old woman opened the oven. Suddenly, the gingerbread man jumped up and ran through the open kitchen door. Woohoo! Stop! cried the old woman, running after him. I want to eat you! But the gingerbread man wouldn't stop. <laughs> he didn't want to be eaten. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. <laughs> the gingerbread man ran past the little old man. Die! Stop! cried the little old man. I want to eat you. But the gingerbread man ran even faster. <laughs> I've run away from a little old woman. And I can run away from you, he said. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The little old man and the little old woman chased the gingerbread man into the yard. Oh, but he was too fast. As he ran, he passed a pig. Stop! snorted the pig. I want to eat you. But the gingerbread man ran even faster. I've run away from a little old woman and a little old man and I can run away from you, he said. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The pig chased the gingerbread man, followed by the little old man and the little old woman. The gingerbread man ran past a cow by the barn. Moo! Stop! mooed the cow. I want to eat you. I've run away from a little old woman, a little old man and a pig and I can run away from you, the gingerbread man cried. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The cow, the pig and the little old man and the little old woman all chased the gingerbread man. But the gingerbread man was too fast. Woohoo! The gingerbread man raced past a horse in a field. <laughs> Stop! neighed the horse. I want to eat you. I've run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a pig, a cow, and I can run away from you, he said. 
Run, run as fast as you can. <laughs> you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. Oh, the horse chased the gingerbread man, followed by the cow, the pig, the little old man, the little old woman. But the gingerbread man was too fast. Then the gingerbread man reached a river and stopped. Oh, the sparkly water swirled in front of him. Oh, no! I can't swim! He cried. How will I get across? A sly and hungry fox saw the gingerbread man and licked his lips. Jump onto my tail and I will take you across the river, he said. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's tail. After swimming halfway, the fox said, Oh no, uh, you're too heavy for my tail. Jump onto my back. So the gingerbread man ran along the fox's tail and jumped onto his back. After a while, the fox cried, You're too heavy for my back. Jump onto my nose. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's nose. But as soon as they oh, reached the riverbank, the fox flipped the gingerbread man up into the air, snapped his mouth shut and gobbled him up. Gobble, 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 gobble. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. Oh, the end. Oh dear, poor gingerbread man. He didn't run away fast enough from that cheeky fox, did he? <laughs> Maybe you will dream of gingerbread treats tonight. <laughs> Sleep well, and I'll see you soon for another bedtime story. Good night. One, two, three. Peekaboo! <laughs> oh, good one. Hello, it's me, Mr. Tumble. Tumble Ted loves to play hide and seek, don't you? <laughs> Just like a little girl called Susan in tonight's bedtime story. It's called Susan Laughs and it's written by Jean Willis with pictures by Tony Ross. <laughs> Susan laughs. <laughs> Susan sings. La, 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 la. Susan flies. Woo Whee! Susan swings. Woo Susan's good. Ta -da. Susan's bad. <gasps> Susan's happy. <laughs> Susan's sad. Huh. Susan dances. Woohoo! <laughs> Susan. Rides. <laughs> Susan swims. Susan hides. Susan's shy. Susan's loud. Susan's angry. Uh. Susan's proud. Mm -hmm. 
Susan splashes. <laughs> Susan spins. <laughs> Susan waves. Susan grins. Cheese. Susan's right. Susan's wrong. Susan's weak. <laughs> Susan's strong. <laughs> Susan. Trots. <laughs> Susan rose. <laughs> Susan paints. Ta -da! Susan throws. <laughs> Susan feels. Mm. Susan fears. Oh. Susan hugs. Mm. Susan hears. That is Susan through and through. Just like me. Just like you. <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed that story. Tumble Ted loved it. <laughs> Susan had a very busy day, didn't she? I wonder what she'll get up to tomorrow. <laughs> well, come on, Teddies. It's time for bed now. And it's time for you to snuggle up too. I'll see you very soon for another bedtime story. Night, night. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Mr. Tumble. I was just giving Tumble Ted the biggest bear hug ever. <laughs> Thank you, Tumble Ted. You see, we can't hug everybody we might like to at the moment. And this can make me feel very sad. But hugging Tumble Ted makes me feel much better. <laughs> Hedgehog and Tortoise in tonight's Bedtime story have some more ideas for us. It's called While We Can't Hug and it's written by Owen McLaughlin with pictures by Polly Dunbar. Hedgehog and Tortoise were the best of friends. They wanted to give each other a great big hug. <sighs> But they weren't allowed to touch. Oh. Don't worry, said Al. To wit, to woo. There are lots of ways to show someone that you love them. Hedgehog tried a wave. <coughs> that made Tortoise smile. <coughs> Tortoise made a funny face. <laughs> that made Hedgehog laugh. <laughs> Hedgehog wrote a letter and Tortoise wrote one back. And when Tortoise did a little dance, Hedgehog joined in too. Hedgehog blew a kiss across the gap between them. Tortoise saw it 
and caught it and kept it and sent three back again. Tortoise sang a song. Hedgehog played along. They both painted pictures so that everyone would know they were friends. Through rain and shine. They could not touch. They could not hug. But they both knew that they were loved. Uh. Mm. It's important to remember everyone you love and show how much you care for them in lots of different ways. You could even give your favourite teddy bear a huge hug for everyone you miss. Stay safe, warm and cosy, and I'll see you soon for another bedtime story. Until then, sweet dreams. There you go. You're looking very snugly, Tumble Ted. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, shh. Hello, it's me, Mr. Tumble. And this is Tumble Ted. <laughs> We're ready for bed. Oh, but it's not time to go to sleep yet. There's just enough time for a bedtime story. So, let's quieten down together. Shh. <laughs> Tonight's story is called Shh. And it's written and illustrated by Baru. <gasps> Night falls. It is late. Close your eyes. Time to sleep. <sighs> Listen to the world gently slowing down, then stopping. The moon tiptoes up to the sky. On the ice floe, the polar bear opens an eye. And closes it again. <laughs> Shh! The lion in pyjamas brushes all of his teeth. <laughs> While the tired giraffes have a rest. <laughs> With its beautiful soft voice, the whale sings a song. to the elephant, who whispers sweet nothings back. Shh! A hippo, who is passing by, lets out a yawn. The toucan counts. One, two, three. Shh. 
she counts sheep to go to sleep. Four, five, six. Shh. And the sheep? The sheep are not doing anything. They are waiting for the end of the story. Time to sleep now. It is late. Sweet dreams, little one. <laughs> what a lovely story. I feel very peaceful. Do you? Oh, that's good, because it's time to sleep now. I'll see you very soon for more bedtime stories. Sweet dreams. <laughs> oh, Tumble Ted. <laughs> That's right, Tumble Ted. Star. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Mr. Tumble. I was just teaching Tumble Ted the sign for star. Why don't you sign star with us? Are you ready? <laughs> star. You sign star. Oh, brilliant signing, everyone. Now let's make our stars twinkle! Oh wow! I can see lots of twinkling stars! Well done! I think we're ready for tonight's bedtime story! It's called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and it's illustrated by Nicola Slater. Get your twinkly stars ready and let's sing and sign together. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond. In the sky, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that was brilliant twinkling, everyone. Shall we sing it again? Oh, and don't forget to twinkle your stars. Twinkle, twinkle, Little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, brilliant signing, everyone, and brilliant singing. Thank you. Now the stars are shining bright. It's time for you to go to bed. Oh, and you too, Tumble Ted. <laughs> and remember, you're all shining stars. I'll see you soon for another bedtime story. Night night. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.